A viewer had asked about the data, and I don't know if the newer machines are different. With this machine, if it's off and you put a USB, um, you put a thumb drive into the slot, into the USB slot, and turn it on. It will give you this screen and say it's writing files to the USB memory. And it takes a, a little while. And that should give us the data for this last batch, I believe, and maybe previous batches. I don't know how much the internal memory keeps uh, track of. Okay. So now I can take that out and can put this on the computer and so I can show the how I could have looked at the data before. I haven't looked at it in years though. I've got my thumb drive in the computer. I've got the data files from HarvestWrite. Going to open with Open Office Calc. It's going to ask me um, they're separated by comma for the data and then OK. This is where it's talking about it brings it up but it shows this error. So I'll change this comma semicolon this comma to semicolon OK. And now it has one minute more. And then I just need to copy that formula straight down to everything else. And then it'll correct them all. And there's probably a super simple way besides dragging them down to correct them all. I don't know how to do this program. This is what I know is just drag it down all the way to the bottom. And I'm just going to stop there for now. Anyway, so once that's all the way down there, um, that field is populated with the correct piece, which is one minute past the previous one. Okay, so I think that's all I need there. And then you have the uh, start time and date over here, and then the time stamp here, and it just it's one minute apart so every data point is one more minute and then the pressure in the chamber it only shows up to the 5000 so as long as it's below 5000 it records something different and then the heater status or the heater and then the state and then it has some that aren't used at all on the current on my version because again it's older but I think they've added some more probes and and things and so when I'm using this I get rid of the extra rows but I wanted to show all of them F is the temperature um, yeah, on that probe and then P is used to tell what part of the cycle it's in so in the drain which means it hasn't been started basically and then the freeze so then you can scroll through them. You can tell, you know, so this is when I first turned it on and then the temperature starts dropping. And, you know, 30, 40 minutes later, we're going into the negatives. And then, and again, using freeze as the current cycle. So right here, this is when I switched it, or when it, depending on timing, switched it from freezing to drying. And at the time it was about 48 below zero. You know, so basically about 50 below zero. And then right here, one minute later, the pressure is down to, to 4,000 and then under 2,000 and then continues to drop and then once it goes below the 500 that's when these kick in so this is the heaters turning on and then once the 
uh, pressure is driven up above the 600, the heater's turned back off. So they were only on for a couple of minutes that first time because it just took a short time to drive the pressure back up. And then heaters turn back off, temperature drops again, pressure drops again, goes below the 500, it turns it on, and repeats. It just takes a little longer for it to um, raise the pressure again. And you can see the, the cycles become a little longer as it goes. Okay, so anyway, that's all there is to that until it gets to the final dry. And that's a lot of data before you get there. There it is. Okay, so then at some point, it's turned the heaters on. Um, and the temperature is up, and, it, and it's still cycling them on and off a bit trying to keep the even amount but it can't drive it back up over the 600 so it's staying down I guess that would have been uh, yeah right here so once it stayed under that temperature for a certain amount of time then it switches over to final dry and then the heaters just stay on also well cycling on and off to keep this, the temperature up to whatever it's set at. And the pressure slowly drops. Uh, I just can't, oh, right here. Uh, the pressure keeps dropping. So this is when I would have opened it. So it said it was done. So I would have opened it, checked it, and then restarted it. So that's why uh, it says finished. And then more final dry. It wasn't dry enough. I put it back in and restarted it, gave it additional time, and then finally finished. Okay, it's probably far more than anybody cares about. Anyway, um, yeah, so I just opened it in Open Office Calc because that's what I have. Um, I don't have Excel over here. Otherwise, you could open it in that. And, and again, you might have to change the punctuation in this formula to make it work properly.